and welcome everyone. Welcome to Let's Play This War of Mine. A based on real events um, wartime simulator game. Um, this game caught my eye a while ago and I've tried it a few times just to get used to it and uh, very interesting, very provocative. So, we're going to try another story. We're going to play with Pavla, Pavla, Bruno, and Marco. Uh, yes, we'll play as them. I hope the audio comes out okay. I might need to adjust it later on. But day one. Day one of the war. Looking pretty grim. Love the art style in this game. Hey, there's that guy. How long has it been has the siege lasted? It's hard to say when every day is a struggle for survival. The city is crawling with snipers, shelling is ordinary business almost every night. Phones don't work, there's a shortage of food and meds, and many people are are left homeless. Bruno and Marco have always been good friends, so when the war broke out, they decided to stick together. They met Pav Pavla um while scavenging for supplies. He used to be Pro um Porgons Porgons Star football player, now he's just another homeless victim of war. So they teamed up, hoping for the best. So yeah, I think this is a pause, yeah. So, um, we have all these options. What we really need to do right away, start searching stuff. Start opening doors. Start getting supplies. Nope, oh, we found some supplies. Materials, which can be used for building stuff. Uh, clean water, which is used to prepare meals, or make alcohol, which we probably won't, I have never done yet. Uh, wood is to build stuff, and electronic parts to build electronic stuff. I'm going to take all that. Now, there's a timer in this as well, until nighttime. Uh, the problem with nighttime is that... Oh yeah, right click is to run, isn't it? Um, oh, I've never been to this house before, actually. Uh, more material. Well, materials actually are for various mechanical parts and building complex uh, stuff. More water, more electronics. We'll take all of that. What we got? Ooh, lock pick. Uh, lock picks are good because it allows you to well pick locks. Um, you need to go here. You need to break down that door. You need to search this pile. Or that's a dig. Now that's the dig. Come over here. That requires a lock pick. That's the upgrade. Lock pick. Uh, let's go this way. You, Marco. Okay, you're slightly wounded. That sucks. You're fine. You are slightly sick. You're a fast runner. Oh, wow, that's nice. Lots of good stuff. Okay, he, uh, Pavlo's a good runner. Um, open this. No, 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 not you. You, 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 you. You open this. Um, Pavlov is, is, um, sorry. Oh, we found food. Some her herbs. Which are good for, uh, medicine. And rolling up cigarettes. Not sure why. Um, we don't really make cigarettes yet. Um, uh, what's the inventory? Inventory. Um, so, some thoughts. Grab my tea. Some thoughts. Our shelter is one desperately ugly ru uh, ruin. We should do something about that. We only have one chair. We lack beds and we have to sleep on the floor. It's hard to get a good night's sleep on hard, cold concrete. And the conditions of these are sick. Uh, the condition of those sick and wounded may drastically worsen. We don't have a radio. We don't know what's going on. Uh, what's going on in the city. We really miss books. A good book could help us. Forget the horrors of war. Stay, staying here is slightly better than living on the streets. Uh, we lack cigarettes. We have breaches in the walls. Walls. Of, um, we have breaches in the walls. Our shelter is not safe, and we have a uh, have to constantly be on guard. 
So, as it says, you know, we have all of these problems. We should go to our workbench. Now, this workbench, we can do a lot of stuff. We can build a bed. We can build chairs. We can build... Um, it's good for them to sit down. It makes them feel a little bit better. Um, simple heaters will be useful during the winter. I haven't showed that yet, but... A radio is important. Um, I usually build that first. We have uh, filters for water, but we don't have anything to catch water. This is a rain catcher. Um, metal works allows us to build metal tools. Um, and shovels and crowbars and stuff. Uh, crude stove allows us to cook. And fuel is fuel. Um, first thing I usually like to build is a rate as a as uh, a metal works. No, it's not. Do I have enough? I don't think I have enough. Uh, I don't have materials yet to build. Uh, I usually like to bear uh, get rid of the, uh, fix the barricades. Doesn't look like we're gonna have that choice right now. So I think. Hmm. I think a radio is good for now. Where do we want to place the radio? Uh, where's the best place for beds? Probably on, in, on this level. We could put the radio in the basement. Uh, it doesn't matter, it really doesn't really matter where the radio is. This is just for aesthetics. Uh, but I don't want them to run around too much to get to it. Can I put it right here? Yeah, I can. Let's put it right here for now. Okay, so we can see it's day one. This is the time. Uh, time slowly counts down until we have to, it's night. And the temperature, which we can do Celsius for, for our Fahrenheit. I'm Canadian, so I'm going to go with Celsius. We can also also upgrade the workbench, which will give us uh, more uh, more things to make. Okay, you need to hurry. Got that door. Check this. Check for sweet-ass supplies. We're going to need a lot of them. More food, another lockpick, more wood, more materials. That's nice. This war-torn city. We can also zoom in and zoom out. What you got? Anything good? Ah, oh, materials and stuff. Okay. He's pretty much done for the... Uh, lockpick. Okay, you might as well start digging here, I guess. Oh, you don't even really need to. No, I changed my mind. You don't need to. Take a seat. Take a seat right over there. Alright, since we're here, we must check out the radio. Alright, Rebel Leader instructs us, instructed us to warn the listeners not to cross the front lines. Uh, failure to comply will result in death. Not good. Classical music we can't listen to because probably copyright. The good days will still be nice and warm. Perfect for a stroll in the park. Yeah, probably not. Nothing there. Got some rebel leader still. Uh, desperate. Des um, despite desperate counterattacks by the rebels, try uh, rebels trying to lift the siege of of Porgorin, Porgorin, Pogorin, Porgorin. The city remains cut off. Government forces do not allow any aid to reach the city, claiming it will uh, end up in the hands of the rebels. It seems pretty desperate right now. Actually, can we... What can we build now? Ah, we should build a bed. Beds are nice because, well, it allows us to sleep better at night. Ah, uh, however, we could build... You know what? I think... Hmm, it's tough. Go here, quick. Fine, just manually do it, I guess. I have to tell him to do it. So that's smart enough to do it himself. Um, Bruno is, is our good cook. Once we get a stove, he will be our resident chef. He'll pretty much cook everything for us. Ooh, a diamond. Jewelry, actually, but... Um, apparently, we have water all the time, I guess. What does this require? A lot. I'll take up... No, I didn't actually mean to do that. Oh, well. It, it has to get done eventually anyways. So we might as well. <clears throat> that was a mistake. Everything else requires lockpicks. We should close this door. Okay, you freak out, I guess. Yep. Not that closing door actually matters, I don't think. 
Okay, now I made that horrible mistake. Guitars! Ah, that's how you get to the boards. If we board up, we'll be uh, a little bit safer, actually. However, I still think making the bed is probably the best decision right now. Place. There we go. Now we have a bed. Can we... St I don't think we have enough to make... Um, to board up the place yet. I don't think. No. We're screwed there. Oh, we do have enough. I was at the wrong spot. Eh. Alright, we, we do need to board up some of the stuff. It will prevent looters from coming in and stealing our supplies. Will we have enough time, though, is the question. And you're just being you. You can sleep. Um, ooh, you're a skilled scavenger, too. Come on. Come on, Pavlov. Or Bruno, I mean. Bruno! I could do some bandages. Yeah, I know. So when night comes, that's when you go and scavenge for supplies. It's coming soon. Hooray! We've partly fixed up our our crappy, crappy house. Uh, once I get a crowbar, um, I'll be able to go into here and get all this nice loot. But right now, it's uh, not feasible, as we need to save supplies. For now. So, the first day, we're not going to cook. Um, Pavlov. Pavla. Pavla. Whatever his name is. The knight is going to sleep it off. Um, or sleep, I should say. You sleep in bed. You're not going to scavenge. You're going to guard. You're going to guard. You are going to scavenge, though. We got abandoned cottage. A family barricaded themselves in the house, but despite their efforts, looters are, got inside. They've, it's been been since. Still, we might find some good stuff. Ruined villa. They say some people still live here, against all odds. Uh, we probably don't want to go there. Quiet house. Uh, it's a housing estate that remains almost untouched. It's a calm area with the houses. And, uh, people are trying to lead normal lives in there. So we're not going to go there. We're going to go to the Bannon Cottage first. It's not that dangerous. There's lots of supplies. You're guarding. You're sleeping. Hopefully to get rid of the sickness, but... We'll have to wait and see. Um, and we're not going to take any... Any... Uh, mi um, any um, oh, why can't I think? Uh, we're not going to take any lockpicks. Not this night. Alright, so... This mode. Sneaking mode. Uh, the looters... Must have been in a hurry. There's still a lot of stuff left. Now, since he's a skilled scavenger, he can scavenge better. We have field of vision, just like uh, bad guys will. Um, we only want uh, good supplies right now. But we can always come back. That little um, bleep around shows that he's making noise, which, you know, will attract enemies if there are any. Uh, the more... Actually, the more wood we can get, the better right now. Uh, shell casings are used for... Um, I should be careful, too. There could be bad guys here. Uh, shell casings are used to make guns and stuff. Um, we don't really have any way to make that right now. Ooh, gunpowder. Gunpowder. Ah, no, I don't want gunpowder right now. Gunpowder will be nice later. I never actually made a gun. Um, we should be sneaking around, actually. Sneaking. You can fight with fists and whatnot. Um, I don't know if that's any good. Ooh, lots of wood. The more wood we get, the better. It's good for trading. Um, it's more important for building, but... Ooh, there's something there. It's probably a, a, a rat. Um, let's see if there's a fridge around here first for food. Again, we can always come back for more. Ah, oh, fertilizer. Coffee. Weapon parts are nice. Books. They said they wanted books. Alright, let's be a little bit careful. Get ready to run. No, it's a mouse. And I believe that's a fridge. Please, there be food in here. Ooh, we do. We get tons of food. Hmm... I'm actually going to drop the wood in that for the food. Uh, what else did I pick up? Uh, not for the herbs. 
Uh, I'm not sure what sugar does yet. I'm going to assume that's for alcohol. But I don't know. Oh, uh, water would be nice too, actually. So we're going to drop that. Get all the water I can. Um, let's see. We also have a timer here. We have ammunition stock, which we don't actually don't have. And there's a pile there. Um, I think it's going to... We're going to run to the exit. You can immediately end the uh, scavenging night by running to the exit. Which I'm going to end the night early, because he's got full inventory. We'll be back at this place again tomorrow, probably. Hopefully looters didn't come and break everything. Please, no bad stuff from looters. Day two. Surviving in this hell is harsh. Tonight I had real good haul. Look what I got. Okay, no looters. Mirko had been searching for supplies and brought some interesting things. Lots of good stuff. Food in particular. Alright, how are you feeling? Hungry and tired. You're now just hungry. Which is great. You're slightly wounded though and hungry. We need food. That's right, we do. Um, you are going to sleep now. You, however, are going to build. And what are we going to build? Well... We can build the metal works, which means we can get a... Oh, we can build a stove, too. How much does the stove cost? Hmm. It's either one or the other. I think a stove is more appropriate right now. And we're going to ram this in the kitchen, right by the fridge. There we go. Go on, Pavla. Go make us stuff. You, you, you did good. You can rest for tonight. Oh, they have bios. Before the war, I used, to, I used to own a restaurant. I even had my own TV show. Um, Bruno's Cuisine. Bruno! Um, I'm sure you've seen it. I visited beautiful places where I used, where I was filmed cooking exquisite dishes. All that seems of no importance now, don't you think? Nowadays, you're lucky to get your hands on some canned meat or a bag of rice. And who knows how long this war is going to be last. Huh, I didn't actually know. He's a smoker. What's your bio? Fast runner. Before this whole mess, I lived with my wife and son in a in the better part of the city. I haven't seen them in a long time. I hope they're okay. I'm not doing so well. As you can see, um, as, as you can see, who needs football players during war? Nobody cares about sports when every day you, can be your last. So I scavenge the ruins like everyone else. Hoping for the best. And how about you? It's kind of, you know, it, you know, it tells you kind of what their previous occupation was, some of them. Um, I thought I had been through hell before, being a fireman. I've entered blazing buildings to save lives, more times than I care to remember. But back then I, I had people team... I had people teamed up against a common foe, namely the fire. Nowadays, your former neighbor can kill you because you, you're... Your grandparents spoke a different language than his. This this is true hell on earth. Nice little touch they had there. Um, you can sit for now, I guess. It's probably stop you guys from running. It probably tires you out more. At least it's warm. Yeah, but it's getting cooler by the day. Now it's only 20 degrees. Actually, speaking of which, let's check the radio. See if there's any new information. What's oh, on the local news? Despite desperate counterattacks, yep, we've already heard that one. That's the music. The royal leader instructed us, uh, warned listeners, the cat. I already heard that one. The upcoming days will still be nice and warm. Okay, so nothing new has occurred. So, can we. We don't have enough fuel, but we have enough to make two meals. We don't have enough to upgrade. Oh, we need 20. Um, I'm not sure what hunger does. I'm pretty sure it's going to make them all angries. I know the longer you, you take to get uh, food and stuff, the, the worse it becomes for them. For depression, anyways. Um, uh, we, have, we have no real f ability to make fuel right now, um, which is also a problem. 
Now, I could just rush to the next day, but sometimes, sometimes, um, events will occur where people will just show up, knocking on your door. Sometimes it's people selling supplies, sometimes it's people, uh, looking for help. Where are my cigarettes? They're gone, remember? Okay, what else can we make? Uh, chair, which is worthless. Filter, which is kind of worthless. That's all. That's we don't really we don't we don't really have enough supplies to last right now. Um, we will get more though. I'm not sure how likely it is someone's going to show up though. That's the only problem. Um, let's uh, let me think. Yeah, just for the sake of the time, we're just going to end the day. Okay, let's see. You can hold 12, you can hold 10. You're a pretty good guard, I'm gonna get you to guard, and you're a fast runner, so you're gonna scavenge tonight. You're gonna sleep in bed. Um, we have new we have new places now. Uh, we have a shelled school, which the school has been sh uh, shelled several times. Unfortunately, most, um, most of the cellars have collapsed, so it might be a good idea to bring a shovel. Um, the supermarket, which is cost and advise, because there's actually guys there. Um, but there's a huge amount of weapons and a huge amount of parts and lots of food and meds. Um, however, uh, what else is here? Lots of materials. So we're actually going to go back to the abandoned cottage. Um, hopefully, and it's 21% um, cleaned out. So hopefully nothing has uh, occurred while we've been gone. I'm back with our normal nothingness. I think it's... I wonder if he finds anything new. Oh yeah, we already... Okay, it's not going to find anything new. Okay. We Anything here? A little more garbage. It's garbage. Okay, go here. You might as well run. We don't hear anybody, so we should be safe, I assume. Ah, someone upstairs. Okay, let's grab all this. Grab the metal of uh, the uh, electronics. Be a little bit quieter right now. There's some upstairs. Uh, we got. Uh, we're gonna grab the parts. Nah, so far so good. That's probably a mouse again. Grab the wood. Grab more parts. Grab that, grab that. Alright, we can look at this photo. I wonder what this photo says. Can be a little bit cautious. A family photo of parents and two daughters. Good thing the girls don't resemble their father. Um, he looks like a bear. Hmm, I'm not sure what to make of that. Actually, the fridge has stuff in it, because I know it does. It's got wood. We're going to grab the wood and the electronic part. Okay, we gotta. We now have to kind of pick and choose what we're gonna take with us. We get plenty of time to do that. Uh, let's see, wood's important. Can't pick. Oh, I can pick up two more of these. I can pick up that. And there's something there. What's this? A note that says, "On the first day they robbed us. Two days later they murdered our girls." I shot every one of them, but I don't want to use the gun anymore. It's broken, and I buried it in the backyard. The next part looks shaky. If you read this, don't look for me. So there's a gun in the backyard, but it's broken. Mouse. Or rat. Probably a rat. Alright, what's in here? More parts, more wood, electronics. Let's check through the door. You can peek through the through the doors too, so there's no one here. So we can open the door. It's locked. No lock picks. Hmm. I could get I'm gonna get him to dig this rubble out actually. We'll see what's in the cabinet. So I hope you all enjoy um this war of mine. Um I don't know how I don't know if it's gonna be long or s or slow or how long I'm gonna last because it's it's kind of like Darkest Dungeon, um, except it's you're you're basically looking for supplies instead of you know fighting evil. 
but yeah, I think it'll be good. I'm thinking about doing uh, another Let's Play as well, like doing maybe this one on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and the other one on, um, sorry, I mean, this one on Mondays and, and Wednesdays, the other one on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but, uh, we'll, we'll see. Dig, Pavla! Dig! I'm not sure what happens if I were to click this, I'm not going to risk it. So, uh, we'll run into, we will, we will run into dangers sooner rather than later. I'll tell you that right now. Um, I believe this game uses a checkpoint system, not a save system, so every time you do a night, it saves. Um, but, you know, I'm not too worried about that. I'm more worried about digging. Look at what's in here. Come on. Digging, 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 digging through the rubble. All right, what's in here? It is also locked, so that was a waste of our time. Let's go. Let's go back home. I don't know if we'll back. We'll come back here again too soon. We will come back here because we're gonna need every everything that's here eventually. But now let's see if we got robbed, because that's usually what happens to me. And hopefully Bruno, no, Bruno, Marco, is uh, healed up magically. I found plenty of really fine stuff. What a night! Yep, we've been raided. Someone came in the night uh, to, to take our things by force. Uh, Pavlov has, okay, it was searched for supplies. And, yeah, someone tried to rob us. They didn't seem very, deter uh, very determined, so we managed to fend them off. Too bad we had no weapons. None of us were wounded, and the attackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves. Nice. Alright, so... Um, ooh, the temperature's still going down. I need to pause for a moment. Uh, when we come back, we'll do playing This War of Mine. And I hope to see you all there.